Hello lovers of indie games, today we'll be jumping into the kitchen and playing Chef Life, a restaurant simulator. A newly released simulator game where you take control of a newly renovated restaurant and set out of dreams of getting a Michelin star. Now as always, let's jump straight into the review as we'll be talking about the story, gameplay, graphics and what I thought about the game. These will be segmented so you can jump along to check them out, leave a comment about what you think of Chef's Life and if you'll be picking it up. Enjoy! Chef Life starts with a rather in-depth character creator, as you look towards making the chef that will hold all the talent, as in real life, I suck at cooking. But Chef Chefy here, he's a bona fide expert when it comes to all things food. You can get tattoos, different hats, and even mix and match different colour palettes if you fancy. Once you've created your character, you're introduced to your next in command, Kasim, who will be joining you on your journey to culinary perfection and starts by showing you the basics again as you clearly forgot everything about being a chef. Now, after learning a few recipes here and understanding how the equipment works within the kitchen, it's time for your restaurant doors to be open to the public. You can of course choose a name for your restaurant. I went with something that's elegant, classy and just oozes with sophistication. Not McDonald's. That's right, due to loopholes, we were able to get this under the name without being sued by the big cheese. Now, all that's left to say is, let's cook! The game will continue to introduce new NPCs and events as you continue the story of your restaurant becoming the greatest in town and possibly in the world. Well, maybe not that big, but it'll definitely be in the top 1000, I'd say. But anyway, that's a long way off. But for now, let's move over to the gameplay and the actual nitty gritty of the mechanics. In Chef Life, you do everything in the game, from decorating the restaurant's front of house, ordering the food, to ensuring you have everything you need for today's menu. And then, the main point, the cooking of said food for the customers who come through the door. Let's talk about the other points before the cooking. The running of the restaurant isn't hard at all. It all basically runs itself while you focus on prep and cooking. Once the restaurant is open, you'll have waiters to manage the customers and take orders and the other cooks in the kitchen to help you with the cooking once your restaurant is bigger and better. Whilst I completely get that it wants you to focus on the cooking, I do wish you had more say over the restaurant itself, like the location that is positioned or the staff that you get to hire. I'm always a fan of simulation games that have the management side to them. I love looking at stats and who would be best for what kind of station, and what am I missing that might make my restaurant better? I think that is what is missing from this game at the moment. Ordering the food is as simple as walking into the kitchen and picking up the phone. Now the options that you have for when you do order the food is four different suppliers. These will be cheaper to dearer depending on which way you look down the list. If you go for the cheaper supplier, this will have a negative effect on your service and the restaurant as a whole, as the customers might not like the food as much and it will lower your reputation. Plus, I know for a fact that if someone says locally sourced produce, it's going to get a lot more people interested. So make sure you balance the books to get the best ingredients to keep the customers coming back. It might cost a little bit more, but you might get more repeat customers by doing this. Now it's time to ready, steady, cook. That's right, it's cooking time, and this part stressed me out a lot at first, but I'll go through how it works and how it does get a little better. You are given recipes for certain meals that you know how to cook, or you wish to learn how to cook. You unlock these by leveling up and spending knowledge points. These meals can then be added to your menu to sell to customers once you've cooked them at least once, so the awesome part here is that you actually get to make the menu yourself. I mean, however you like it is what will be sold to the customers. But obviously, that's only once you know the recipes. And yes, they even have it so that you can make it a vegetarian restaurant. But it seems like you may need to cook some meat dishes before this. I didn't look into it too much, but I do think it's awesome that that is an option. Now, this is where I kind of feel the game needs a little improvement, as the prep work is as simple as pressing one button to do everything. So let's take these veggies that need cutting for example. You just press down on the keyboard and it's done. But I wanted it to be a little bit more interactive with the mouse. Imagine having to make the chopping motion as some of the cooking steps already have this. When you need to turn the liquid for this vinaigrette, you actually turn the mouse like it's a spoon turning the liquid. I understand why they've done this because it's definitely easier for console players to just press a few buttons but it would be awesome if for PC players you could use the mouse more like an arm. Once you know what you want to cook, you can pin the recipe so it stays at the top right hand corner of the screen. And I'll tell you this now, this helped me so much at the start, because 
I didn't have a clue what I was doing, but it does help to know that you can just flick over to it and go, all right, okay, this is what I need to add to my recipe now. At the start, it's helpful, but the more that you cook the meal, it'll just automatically get ingrained into your brain. Now it's time to get stressed, as when it comes to cooking a meal, you're giving a timer, and it's now time to put everything you've learned into action. That's cooking everything to the right temperature, adding seasoning, making sure you add the right ingredients at the right time, and then plating it all as fast as possible to get a tip and hopefully a repeat customer in the future. And I bet you're thinking you can do that quite easily. But the first few times, even though it might only be one or two customers, it's pretty stressful. Now, it definitely does get easier once you understand the timings and that you can get other chefs to help you, but I think that's also part of the fun. You start off running around like a headless chicken, and by the end, you're the top chef. Graphics are on point for a simulation game. I normally think the graphics don't matter sometimes in games like this, but they've hit it out the park. All the ingredients look like they should, and seeing as you can decorate the front of the house, they have made sure that things look spot on. I have no complaints about this, as it's already gone above and beyond what I expected. I did have one little bug though where my front of house lead wanted to just have a chill one and T posed all the way through her first shift on the job. And I get it, it can be hard serving all these customers, but come on, you're meant to lead the rest of the team. It fixed itself after that one day of work, so it kind of just moved on and it was fixed, so hopefully it doesn't cause too many issues in the future. Chef Life, a restaurant simulator, is the perfect game if you want to run a kitchen, but I think it's definitely in easy mode, and I wish that they just made things a little bit more interactive. They do that, and I'm sold all the way. But yeah, I completely understand why it is like this, I just hoped for a little bit more. I'll give my review, a taste testing of this game, a solid B+. A little bit more seasoning, and it's a full A. Chef Life, a restaurant simulator, is available now on PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. Thank you so much for all those who've watched until the end. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and enjoyed it. I'll see you all on the flip side of the steak, that is. See you later. Bye.